So I had an issue with my power pack the other day. The battery got down to, I think it was about 10.8 volts. In fact, this voltmeter wasn't even showing a reading. It just showed a, a negative sign, I guess, which is its sign to say that it's too low. And the reason for that is we're now in October. It's grey. The nights are drawing in, so there's less hours of solar energy. Um, so this wasn't coping very well, and that got me thinking. But now those nights are drawing in, we've got less hours of solar. How efficient is my grid tie inverter switch? How much juice is it pulling? Now at the moment, there's absolutely nothing, um, nothing intelligent there to say turn off because you're not doing anything. Um, so I've been reading about putting Arduinos to sleep. So let's see, with my meter in line with the automatic grid tie switch, I'm pulling 26 milliamps constantly look at that it's barely moving and if we turn that on to grid tie mode so the relays are on obviously this would only happen during the day but 184 milliamps huge jump but at night and those are off 26 milliamps so here's what I'm trying now. As you can see on the screen, we've now got battery voltage and solar voltage. That's because I'm using this standard voltage module here, connected through these pins that were left over from the original voltage sensor for the battery. So we can now see battery voltage and solar voltage and we can ask Arduino to make decisions based on the two of them. So at the moment I'm just trying this out so if the solar voltage goes below 10 volts there's a slight inaccuracy on that meter but if it goes below 10 volts then it goes into sleep mode and I can simulate that by turning off my panels. Sleep and then eight seconds later, Arduino wakes up, rechecks those voltages. Now with the averaging that I've got going on, you can see that solar voltage is dropping really slowly. Perhaps I need to think about that a little bit more. But now it's going down to one volt. Hopefully it'll go down to zero volts very soon. There we go, 0.61, that'll do for now. And then when we turn the solar panels on again, 13.9, see it's a dark day outside, the solar voltage creeps up. And we're now back into charging mode. But, in sleep mode, how much am I actually saving? There you go, it's 8.8 .8 milliamps. So that's what, 16 milliamps saved? All night, that probably saves a fair bit. So in a grey, wintry Great Britain, I think saving every bit of energy is really important when you're talking about solar. So I think that's definitely an improvement to play with in version 4 of my grid tie inverter switch. Um, I hope you've enjoyed. Please thumbs up, subscribe, comment please. I'll see you next time. And for those of you wondering what I did with this, well, I had to charge the battery. But it seems to have uh, come back to life and now i've got 30 watts of panels going into this charge controller feeding this little 7 amp power battery so hopefully that should see me through the winter